it was considered you know a waste of money because she will be married to someone else you know someday the man is not educated but he's not willing also to send his wife to school because oh he fears that the wife will go to school and become promiscuous but the wife is not educated how will the upbringing of the children be they abuse the uneducated wife i'll be more vulnerable to abuse and um poverty not even knowing my rights and she's not supposed to talk to give the girl child an opportunity to be educated welcome back to our channel today's topic we'll be talking about is a continuation really it, yeah pretty much like some of the cultural practices that make us cringe yes in our, our cultural, cultural practices. practices and pretty much a lot that i like i would say is always a common thing yes. in a lot of african settings a lot of african communities yes it is more about less emphasis on girl child education yes or basically you know not em improving or encouraging girl child education. education we often think the male child education is more important than the female child education and that to me is very appalling you know having a daughter myself would i do such a thing to my daughter really? and i just can't comprehend it because for me the girl child education is something that i felt like would could have easily changed my life in a different way yes through my mom the you know the first woman in my life was my mom until this amazing woman came you know into my life <laughs> but you see growing up then see my mom my mom did not go to school but my mom is one of the smartest women. She is. You know? Oh my God. I kept asking myself. She's so smart. Yeah, so. I, like, it's shocking. She's really smart. I had to ask her, why didn't you go to school? Because I saw that even at, after she had given birth to all of us and she was, you know, old, she, she was still attending, uh, taking some classes, all this. She to, wants to. She, you know, her mind is there. She, yeah, she used to attend all this non formal education programs that they do so that she could learn how to read how to write a b c d how to do calculations and stuff to help her business you deny my mom education education because she's a female and her education would bring nothing to the house and she, her own is what to take care of the properties so that the male children can go to school so that she would just stay behind the very properties that she never gets to inherit anything Wow. Going through school, especially when I was in high school. You know, I just wish my mom, I could write a letter to her. And have her read And letter. have her read my letter. Me telling her how much I I, I am grateful. You know, how much I love her. Aww. If my mom had been educated. Yes. My life would have been different. Absolutely. I would have been in a better place. And, you know, maybe even faster and quicker. One great Ghanaian called the, the Kwajagri, he said, mm -hmm. when you educate a man, yes. you educate one person. But when you educate a woman, you educate a nation. That's really true. Elaborating on that, come to think about it. The mother gets to educate their children. Yes. You know, they'll it pass on. Her decisions yes, because the mothers are the immediate contact for children. Absolutely. No. How about you? Is that, what about the, the evil same people? in my culture. Well, I would say that previously mm -hmm. it used to be the case because okay. it was considered, you know, a waste of money because wow. she will be married to someone else, you know, someday. <laughs> but in that argument, the men also marry somebody else. Exactly. Right? Currently in yes. Igbo land, mm -hmm. I would say that the women are even more educated than the men. Wow. Our Great. men are willing to let the the girl child go to school they they, they just love it okay. like my dad insisted that i and all my sisters must at least you know have an undergraduate degree you have to show him that certificate before you're talking about a man that, and i'll say kudos to him that's very impressive and, and I, I i i've seen and i've heard of so many Igbo men who actually they marry a woman and they send her to school. And most of these men, when they become successful, successful, successful in their in business, their business mm -hmm. they marry a girl from the village mm -hmm. or from the community mm -hmm. and they send her to school. Oh. So it is very common to see an Igbo man's wife 
really educated, but the mm-hmm. man is not educated at all. He's just a market, you know. Wow. <laughs> he's just wow. a trader in the market. You know, it's it's such a it's a bittersweet moment for me yes. to think about this because I feel like it helps in a very huge way and a lot of cultures can take lessons from the Igbo culture yes. where a lot of the girls are very educated yeah. because the men are sending them to school. And encouraging, and encouraging and the them fathers are really pushing their yes. girls and they actually see to it that they pay a tuition and like my dad supported me throughout until but when you get married <laughs> you're done but at least it's, it's, yes. it's a huge relief in certain cultures the man is not educated but he's not willing also to send his wife to school because oh he feels that the wife will go to school and become promiscuous <laughs> you know if she would be she would be irrespective of going to school or not yes if we don't do that how then can we even say we are affording the lady the female child the same opportunity as a man we can't say we that. can't say it's not it's not it's not fair it's not the so same. you see that this thing become summed up to collate into a various sectors of our societies yes uh, yeah if a lot of cultures including mine if we can encourage our girls to go to school if we can take them to school rather than marrying them off very early rather than taking them you know denying them education giving them an opportunity give the girl child an opportunity yes. to, be, to be to be someone to be educated i think the community will develop faster yes. the community will get more enlightened Absolutely. the community will reach a peak that no one has seen before yes <laughs> but when women are not involved or given such opportunity it becomes so hard in this, uh, like, especially decision making process and stuff like that. Yeah, and I think you know? that includes allowing the female child to go into, you know, careers that ordinarily uh, you would m- say, only oh, women, you know, study yes. law, study medicine, absolutely engineering. Just, oh, a yes. girl should be a teacher, a teacher, or a girl should be a nurse. Yes, you know, it absolutely. doesn't end that you should. I, go for it yeah, if you're absolutely. going through education you can really go for it i agree and that that is exactly what i think a lot of our african communities or cultures yes. need to adapt to enhance the female child education yes. because that it is only in that regard the women can come to the discussion table with a lot of talents absolutely. with a lot of exposure with a lot of you know knowledge to impact the society, to impact the family, to impact the children. And then the children will go on to do greater things. What are the impact of denying a girl child education or even not even encouraging them at all? Yes, I think personally, something to really think deep about, but it's obvious too, Mm. because it would mean that I will be, say I was not educated, Mm. I'll be more vulnerable to abuse and um poverty true you know uh, abuse in the sense of not even knowing my rights and another thing is it makes you lose um self-esteem Conf- or self- self-confidence right? yes yeah, self-worth yeah. like an uneducated woman may not be able to stand in front of people to you know speak her mind that, you know express herself express right? herself mm-hmm. So when you see in a place where women are encouraged to educate themselves and be educated Mm -hmm. and to go in for all of the careers they can really uh, pursue, you know, they sit in meetings and they... They, they make meaningful contributions Jesus. to the you know affairs of the state. She will sit at that table and she will really um, negotiate very, very well, well for her community. Yeah. So, and not educating the female child or encouraging her to be educated. Yes, it's really a waste of human resources. I agree. That's but right. you know, with all these things regarding encouraging. Uh, a female child to go to education. You know, things are changing. Absolutely. Things are really changing. There are, you know, NGOs promoting girl-child education. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also in a place like Ghana, Mm -hmm. like I have read and I've seen the changes. And I really hope that other African countries who are still, you know, having girl-child not being 
so much encouraged to be in education will adopt you know what is happening in in ghana for example the you know free basic oh, education yes. yeah. nationwide uh, in ghana absolutely and you know funny enough it's actually not just only um the basic education is even now to the uh, to the secondary level wow so which means you can wow. start from i wish we can have nursery. that in nigeria <laughs> you can start from the nursery all the way to the secondary school free free Free, 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 free. It is an opportunity for the girl child to be enrolled, be it in the village, be it in the city, that at least they have an opportunity to education. Yes, and I, I also we, we saw that video of a you know an oh, older yes. woman, fifty two year old woman, yes, who went back to JSS Junior oh High School God. just to to she take her is, exams to go back to high great. school. Yeah, and she passed. And so she and passed. this this leaves us with you know. No, no excuse again. Like yes. if you are a female child, maybe you were, if you are a woman and you were denied education because you are, you know, you are a female. female. With what is happening in Ghana no. now, you can enroll, enroll yourself, yourself back. an opportunity. Absolutely, yes. even if it means get to secondary school level, at least yes. know how to read and write. Yes, it, Just, it will change your story. It will change your, you know, your view absolutely. about life. I agree. Also, and again, Ghana, there is also the loan scheme. Oh yeah, for the tertiary uh, education. Yes, you have the, the government has got the student loan student uh, loans available for the tertiary university the any form of tertiary where you can apply you can get a guarantor and you apply and they will issue you money that will help pay you use that to pay towards your tuition, your tuition. or your accommodations and wow. stuff like that so basically it Just helps like in, we have in the west in the west exactly so it's definitely why can't we have that in nigeria you know this is what i'm hoping that a lot of the African continent yes. can begin to take steps that yes. would create an atmosphere conducive to allow the girl child go back to school. Yes, so it, it's it's really a relief to yes. know that the female child can take up this loan, loan. go to tertiary, tertiary. The university, yep. graduate, and get just a, get a job. Get you know? a job. Yes. I was so surprised to, you know, to, to, to know about this loan scheme and I was just wishing can we have more of this in many other places and I, I do believe like a lot of um, African countries can implement these things we just need to work better to you know to make things more you know like accessible yes to our people yes yeah wow Ghana is really taking the right direction and yeah. I'm so I'm so proud of Ghana yeah. for this and I like totally. it's a welcome development that we want to see across the continent, the continent yeah. so please tell us what you think if you're a woman and you are educated tell us how that has impacted or changed your life and your family and also if you are a man who maybe you are married to a woman yeah. who uh, is not educated do you think you can you know bring yourself to a place where you encourage her to go to school back to school yes I or agree. do you feel like you will be threatened by her we really love hearing from you